Hi, welcome to the second video. Now, in this video, we're going to look at how we're going to get graphics. Because right now, our WSL2 uh, install of Ubuntu 20.04 LTS hasn't got any graphics at all. It's just a text based command line system at the moment. And we're going to use the uh, Windows system to provide the uh, the graphics and we're going to use uh, an X server to provide it. So let's see what we've got with that in our terminal. So yeah, we've got Ubuntu installed. Um, we've got a user called URSIM and we've popped out into our what would be our Windows user directory. So we'll CD and go to our what would be our Unix sort of home directory. And I'm going to look at what I've got set up in order to use um, my X server. So I've got a couple of, uh, there's a couple of environment variables set, and they are going to be, that's display, and one called libgl, so it's a graphics library, references, and we've got that set at zero. And those environment variables are set in our .bash file, our .bash RC file, sorry. We should look at that. And these are required settings at the end of it. So at the very end of it, these two lines are added. Now the information on what to add for these two lines is available on the internet. So let's just highlight those two. So this display var variable finds out what, our, what the server is, because essentially with WSL2, uh, this install is essentially a virtual machine or a container. Um, and it, it's not going to use the sort of host network. It's going to use a virtual network. And we can sh show that uh, if we want. In fact, we might as well show it now if we open the command prompt and look at uh, IP config. We can see that we have this uh, Ethernet adapter um, for WSL. And it's at 172.29.96.1. Um, a, uh, a slightly different subnet mask, which will refer more to some of these numbers in this sort of range here. Um, and that's essentially why we have our display set. So that ref references the display on your Windows machine. We'll come into why that second line, why I have indirect equals zero rather than indirect equal to one later on, but I find this version works. So control X. In order to install or to have any graphics programs, we need to install two packages. Or I've at least well, I've installed both packages, but uh, we need to type sudo apt install x11 apps and that will give us access to um, all the applications for x11. Um, let's get that username correct, or that password, sorry. I know I've typed it wrong again. Yeah, and we'll use a pat install. <laughs> so one can't type. That's it, so we've already got it installed. X11 apps. We're also going to install software called uh, Mesa New Tools. And that is going to be because we want to look at our OpenGL software. When we have those two pieces of software installed and we have X11 configured on our Windows machine, we can run either OpenGL or X server uh, applications like XIs. Run it in the background. It's popped up behind there. You make it a little bit bigger so I can grab hold of it. Otherwise, you're struggling. You struggle to to pick it up. So XIs, which follows a mouse around. So we got graphics at least. And then we'll look at GLX gears. Um, and let's see, we've got info 
There's our switches and display. And let's see if I can force it to this display. Uh, 172.29. Dot ninety six dot one display zero. I think it'll pop up on this one. No, it always wants to pop up on my other display. So let's move it across. And here we have it working. So it's using this uh, OpenGL version or, or Graphics Library version. 3.1 Mesa, which is an open source um, OpenGL, as far as I know. So that's it. So now we, we actually have that working. Now, in order for this to work, we're going to need to make sure we have our X server running. So let's just stop it and see how it's configured. So this is our X server. If we exit it, we'll kill our graphics. If we start it, show you how it's configured and then we can launch them again so let's start X launch now this configuration can be saved and I have it saved but this is how I set up I've got multiple windows <clears throat> I set display number to be zero it's not with no clients the clients are actually on our uh, Ubuntu install so far the only clients we've seen are XIs and GLX gears, but they're clients. The server here, which we provided the windows for them, is on Windows 10. So we'll start with no client. This is the important settings that we have to change. We're going to leave the clipboard as it is, but we're going to remove native OpenGL support. We're going to do that because of problems that that shows up, at least on my machine. And if we were going to use this one ticked, we would have to follow these instructions and so make sure that we export the <coughs> libgl always in direct environment variable so i've not got that set i've set it to be false so i'm going to uncheck that i'm going to enable this one which is which means i'm going to disable access control and that's because we don't need to have any effects for security purposes but because we're on the same machine and it's much more straightforward to set up without it we're going to have this X server um, accept connections from all clients and the clients are the ones I have again running in my essentially virtual machine on WSL 2. So that's it. So now we'll finish that. Alright, so the configuration. Now we have it running. We'll just show that again. Let's let's get rid of the this lot. And let's move it across so you can see it. Here we have it running. So that's how how, it, how we make sure it runs. Now I'll show you how it doesn't run. What happens if we have a different configuration? So if I finish quit this one, Control C, sorry, not Control X. Let's let's change our configuration for our dot bash RC. Let's change it to be. true rewrite that let's reload it let's just check what our variables are true let's quit out of XRX server let's restart it this time we're gonna use the native OpenGL we'll finish that we've got it running I think it doesn't affect eyes X eyes I think XI runs regardless. So yes, that's running. Oops, killed it. Never mind. It's GLX gears that we want to 
check out. Okay, it tells me it's ref it's running. But it's not running on anything I can see unless it's hidden behind. I mean, here we go. So let's see. Let's move it. It's either running so well, I can't see it go around. Let's kill it. And let's just fix that. So the fix that we have is that we're going to set our environment variable to be libgl always indirect equal to zero. We're going to restart that. We'll check what value it's at. Now I haven't just checked with that equal to zero what happens to GLX gears when I run it with X launch, but we we'll might as well try that seeing as that's something else. Okay, now it's a fail. There's a libgl error, which is fine. We do have a we do have it running or open, but we have the same appearance as before, where no no action. So let's fix our. Next server, we'll restart that. Remember zero, start no client, and check that, check that. We won't save the configuration. By the way, the configuration I have is set up in my user Steve app data, which is my username. Update a roaming Microsoft Windows start menu program startup. So this configuration launches on startup or X server launches on startup with this configuration. So you don't have to keep redoing it. So let's just finish that. Let's now run GX gears again. And as we were before, again popped up on the the screen but successfully running with a decent frame rate so that's it so that's how we make sure we have our OpenGL graphics running nicely in our Windows subsystem for Linux thank you for watching